It's fall and in fall, I always want to do something with chestnuts. This year, I've worked up a stir fry, which is an interesting way to use them. And like all stir fries, it really helps to cook at home sequentially because you're never going to generate the kind of heat that you see in big woks with big flames underneath in Chinese restaurants. You need to cook things one or two at a time. So it's not difficult, it's not time consuming. It takes 10, 15 minutes, this dish, but it requires a little bit of thought. You start with a hot pan. I like to use peanut oil for stir frying. And peel your chestnuts. You can find directions for how to do this on my blog, nytimes.com bitten, or in any cookbook, one of mine would do. And we want to get these browned and a little bit crisp on the outside. Keep the heat high, a little bit of salt. So basically what we're doing here is cooking chestnuts, cabbage, shrimp with seasonings. May I have a paring knife, please? When you peel chestnuts, to peel chestnuts, you have to either roast them or boil them, or actually you can peel them by deep frying. Whatever you do to peel them effectively cooks them. So the chestnuts are cooked here. You don't have to worry about them being cooked through. Meanwhile, I have some big shrimp, so I'm going to cut them into pieces, sort of bite-sized pieces. I'm figuring three, four shrimp per person. I want the chestnuts to be the star here. Okay, those are gorgeous. Got this great nut flavored oil now. And our cabbage, and I'm gonna put some uh, slivered garlic in here too. Now this is gonna take a while because it's gotta cook down a bit. Um, one thing you can do to hasten this process is add a little water. Put that water in there, the steam from it is going to increase the heat of what's going on in the pan, plus as it cooks through the cabbage, it's going to shrink it, get more of it more quickly in contact with the oil. So that was about, what, three minutes? So now we've got cooked chestnuts, we've got cooked cabbage. So we just need a little bit more oil. Our shrimp, which as you probably know, cook very quickly. Some minced garlic, some minced ginger, little salt. Our chestnuts go back in, our cabbage goes back in. The shrimp were just turning pink. You know, when they're cut that small, they only take a minute or so to cook anyway. We're just about done. We want a little liquid so we have some sauce. And we want a little liquid so that when I add soy sauce, which I'm going to do now, it doesn't burn. Scallions, just at the very end. Look, looks pretty good, huh? And just at the last second, a drop, a teaspoon, say, of sesame oil and we're done. Stir-fried chestnuts. Best idea I've had all week.